So once you're logged on into QuickBooks Online, let's go to the left hand side and let's go to reports and find report by name and type in expenses. If you type in EX, it'll start generating. So let's click on that. Now the report is expenses by customer summary, um, but QuickBooks doesn't have that. So we're going to have to customize this. Make sure the date range is correct and the settings are as they are here on the top right let's go to customize filter and here we can select the customer so here I'm going to select cool cars and run report and now this report is showing all the transactions that have uh, cool cars as the customer so I'm going to open one transaction so we can take a look and here we see the customer cool cars for this expense Let's go back to the report and here we have 5,000 and here we have cool cars as the customer for this expense as well. Now we do have an issue here it says expenses by uh, vendor summary and this is for the customer so we're going to have to click on it and change the name. And now we have customer summary, expenses by customer summary. Um, this will have your company name. Uh, I'm assuming you won't have to change that, but if you do, pencil, change it. And another option you can do, because it'll still say vendor summary, and again, this report does not exist, you have to customize it. I would save customization. Um, what you can do is expense by customer summary and create a group so I'm going to create a group and call it cool cars hit add and share with that com that's completely up to you if you don't want to share this report only you want to see it then hit none um, or if you want to share it with everybody on your team hit all completely up to you I'm gonna hit save now this is a sample file so I will not be able to save this customization however I will show you where you'll find it so I'm gonna hit OK and go back to reports and once you save that customization the custom reports will be here as it shows so it'll say cool cars and that'll be the group name and below it will have that um, expenses by customer report again this is a sample company so I cannot save it there but you will see it once you hit save and there you go. That's how you generate a, an expense uh, report by customer.